Hey guys, Script here with another video, and this is a funny one. Game of Thrones creators talk about their scrapped Star Wars trilogy plans. The showrunners behind HBO's Game of Thrones and Netflix recently released Three Body Problem. Benioff and Weiss recently talked about their scrapped Star Wars trilogy plans. While on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, they explained how close they were to getting their Star Wars trilogy off the ground before it was cancelled. Now, I will say to, just to start this off, that they, they rushed the ending of Game of Thrones to get get going on this Star Wars project. So obviously, Kathleen Kennedy gave them some form of promise of some kind to get them to do that. They were like super excited and then they rushed the Game of Thrones ending and the Game of Thrones ending sucked. And I wasted 20 hours of my life watching that show that I will never get back because the ending was so absolutely god awful. And part of that's Martin's fault too, the, the author, because he just it just doesn't finish books for some reason and finish his stories for some reason takes forever but they did that because they thought they were getting a star wars trilogy and that's one of the things with kathleen kennedy that i just don't understand she promised ryan johnson a trilogy she promised these guys a trilogy everyone gets a trilogy hey you want a trilogy hey hey, hey. you want one hey hey, hey. everyone can have something and that's been happening with star wars way too much like she just like flippantly announces movies and shows and projects and then they get canceled or they don't or they get moved or these guys get this why would you be promising anybody a trilogy like this is ridiculous and this is her whole thing is like she's giving projects like the acolyte to somebody who has no business directing and writing a star wars show right like everything leslie headland has done has, has to do with like sex and sex dramas and stupid stuff like that then she gives the ray movie to a documentary filmmaker who's doing documentaries about abuse of pakistani women in pakistan like and none of those things are bad you you have every right and you you know you could be very good at doing those things but that has nothing to do with star wars so it's almost like she like meets these women at a party or these guys and then is like yeah 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 we'll give you this yeah 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 you can do star wars yeah 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 and then, like, six months later, she's like, oh, yeah, I promised that person Star Wars. And then they do it. It's like, and then it's garbage. I, I just, I don't understand how this person still has a job. The only thing that I can think of is that Kathleen Kennedy literally knows where the bodies are buried. And they can't fire her. Because if because she's threatened them and said, if you fire me, I'm going to reveal all the disgusting things that you've done. Definitely stands to reason why somebody like Kathleen Kennedy who has absolutely no clue what she's doing and announces projects and then cancels them and gives projects to people who have no business doing these projects and she's destroying Star Wars willingly and knowingly why is she still there it's been 10 years why hasn't she been fired right just fire her it's not hard you just bring in somebody else fire her and give it to Favreau for all I care you know I'm not a huge Favreau fan with what he did with Mando but at least at least he cares He's not a complete idiot. Anyways, all that to say, this is another example of Kathleen Kennedy's just completely stupid way of doing business. I think we got relatively far story-wise. This is from these guys. This is from, uh, I don't know if it's Benioff or Weiss saying this, but we had a basic roadmap to the other two and it was a shame the truth is our hollywood ratio or batting average of things conceived and things actually finished has never been tremendously high so why is kathy promising these guys this and there's always going to be the ones that get away for various reasons the ones that were never meant to be and it was sad that was one of them for us but as time goes on you just kind of need to let go of those things those kinds of uh, uh, kinds of things because if you don't you'll drive yourself completely crazy a few months ago benioff and weiss revealed that the story would have revolved around the story of the first jedi we wanted to do the first jedi basically how the jedi order came to be why it came to be the first lightsaber weiss added and we are we were annoyed as hell when Ryan Johnson, the duo's longtime friend and 3BP producer, called his movie The Last Jedi. He completely destroyed the obvious title for what we were working on. How? How is The Last Jedi ruining The First Jedi? What are you talking about? But this is why you don't promise guys like this movies and trilogies. Why did she promise Ryan Johnson? See, they're all buddies. See, longtime friend Ryan Johnson. This is what I've been saying on this channel for literally years and on my Twitter for years, you guys. These people are being hired because they're friends of people. It's just a giant party. Kathleen Kennedy is quoted as saying how great it is to just go to all the different parties and stuff for Star Wars. This is just an attention-seeking bunch of crap. That's why the stories suck, okay? Nobody's paying attention to the stories. They're paying attention to their own fun and going to parties and being labeled as the Star Wars people, right? 
That's why these guys were promised a trilogy, because they're friends with Ryan Johnson. Forget the fact that they made an absolutely abomination of an ending to Game of Thrones. We're going to give them a trilogy. Like, it's just, how do you guys not see this? Like, Kathleen Kennedy is a nightmare for Lucasfilm. It's been an absolute disaster. But this is hilarious, because... She is trying to do a, a Dawn of the Jedi movie, but anyway, I don't know what this guy's complaining about. When asked what went wrong and why the project fell apart, he added, Lucasfilm ended up not wanting to do the first Jedi story. Except now they are. We had a very specific story idea in mind, and ultimately they decided they didn't want to do that. And we totally get it. It's their company and their IP, but we weren't the droids they were looking for. They are doing an Origin of the Jedi, though. Except Mangold's directing it now. The story of the first Jedi is an interesting one. I don't want to see a first Jedi. I've said this many times. Uh, it's just, it, I, I like the mystery of the Force. I think explaining everything to absolute detail is problematic. I think it makes sense to explain plot details. Like, why did Palpatine come back? That's important. No, we're going to do 10 years of a show for you to figure that out. Or put it in some book or comic book somewhere. But in terms of, like... The origin of the Jedi, I don't want to know. I don't want to know that because they're going to screw it up. And I like the mystery of it. Uh, fantasy and fantasy sci-fi like Star Wars needs mystery. You don't want to explain every single solitary thing, especially the Force. This leave it as the mystery it is. It's great that way. No, we're going to explain it. And they're going to ruin it because it's Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm. They ruin everything. Prime Jedi, who became the first Jedi to ever use the Force. The Prime Jedi was also the founder of the Jedi Order. The Prime Jedi established the Order on the planet Octu around blah, 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 25,000 BBY. The first Jedi Temple, which is located on Octu, contained a mosaic of the Prime Jedi in a state of meditation and balance. No, balance is not equal light and equal dark. If you, it, Dark is the imbalance. Oh, my word. George Lucas has said this. I put it in previous videos. I have quotes. That is not balance. You don't balance yourself by, like, doing some bad and some good. Like, it's just retarded how they've changed things. And and these media media companies like this website uh, echoing that. This story will, will mostly, mostly likely be, <laughs> be explored in Mangold's film. This is what I'm saying. James Mangold's film, Dawn of the Jedi. So, they, so Kathleen Kennedy, these guys, these, these Game of Thrones guys... Uh, Weiss and whatever, Benoit or whatever his name is. Yeah, Benioff. Come up with the idea for the Dawn of the Jedi. They tell Kennedy, we're going to write this script. She says, oh, do write it. You're going to get a trilogy. And then she goes, no. And then says, hey, hey, James, that you just completely bombed Indy 5. And Indiana Jones 5 has probably lost with marketing, I don't know, upwards of $200 million. You need to do that movie, James. <laughs> So what did James do? So Kathleen Kennedy steals these two guys' ideas. Now, I'm not a fan of these guys. Like I said, the Game of Thrones ending sucked. But she steals their idea and then gives it to James Mangold, whose Indy 5 utterly bombed. So why would you do that if you are the, the person running Lucasfilm? Think about it, guys. Think about it. Because Mangold did what she told him to do. She made Indy 5 about a brunette woman... Which is Kathleen Kennedy's whole thing. Every series has to have Burnett women. It's self-insert playland for Kathleen Kennedy. He did what he was told. So despite the fact that the movie, Indiana Jones 5, completely bombed and lost hundreds of millions of dollars, it doesn't matter because Mangold did what he was told. So Mangold's going to get the Dawn of the Jedi now. And he's going to do what he's told again, because Kennedy's running everything. He's going to do what he's told. And she stole the idea from the Game of Thrones guys. She stole it from them. It's absolutely incredible. It's a chance to tell the story of its own, the birth of the Force. When I first talked to Kennedy about it, I just said, I just see this opening to make kind of a Ben-Hur or the Ten Commandments. This is Mangold talking. But, but again... This wasn't his idea. This was the Game of Thrones guy. So he's quoted here, if you read this, the Force has become a kind of religious legend that spans through all these movies. But where did it come from? How was it found? Who found it? Who was the first Jedi? And that's what I'm writing right now. Bro, you stole the idea <laughs> from somebody else. Like, it, it's like, it's like, it's like when Mark Zuckerberg stole the Facebook idea from those twins, those two dudes, uh, that he ended up having to pay like 500 million or something to in, in a lawsuit. It's like, it's ever since then, that's all anybody does is just steal stuff. They just steal stuff and they don't care. And Mangold is a 
total bum, right? He's just a yes man for Kennedy. Because look at this. He's acting like he came up with... Like, read the quote. He's acting like he came up with the idea for the Dawn of the Jedi when it was told to Kennedy by these guys that did Game of Thrones. And then she stole it and said, Hey, James, maybe you can make this now that you made Indy 5 and it bombed. What a disaster. Lucasfilm is a complete joke. Another interview, when talking about how the movie would center on Discovery of the Force, the director said, It just came from me. (laughs) It just came from me thinking about if I were doing one. It seemed to me that most of what they were thinking about doing with movies were either in the present of Star Wars or the future. And what attracted me most was the distant past and how this galaxy formed and how, more specifically, the Force was... You didn't come up with this, bro! These other guys did, and you're stealing it. Look at these quotes. He's acting like he's making this up himself. This is unreal. I can't believe this isn't bigger news. Every Star Wars channel on YouTube should be talking about how absolutely ridiculous this is. What we do know about the early history of the Force is that blah, 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 blah. 36,000 BBY philosophers and scientists from several star systems gathered on Tython to share. Yeah, that's from the EU. And that's where like a bunch of random ships like picked people up, picked up force sensitives and brought them to to Tython. It's super corny. Like, don't get me wrong. There's stuff in the EU I like, but that story is really, really corny and sucks. That sucks. I don't want that to be the, the origin of the Jedi. Random ships that are like cubes going through space and just grabbing up random people uh leading to the beginning of the force wars peace-minded monks that survived the destruction on tython established the jedi order okay anyway so they're admitting that they stole the idea what do you guys think of this like this is a joke i can't believe this isn't being discussed on mainstream channels like i'm a little dinky channel i can't believe nobody's talking about this kathleen kennedy stole these guys idea gave it to mangold and then mangold is being quoted as acting as if he came up with it on his own and mangold made indy 5 which was a complete bomb but kathleen kennedy is giving him more projects why because he did what he was told lucasfilm is a complete and utter disaster it's a joke I'm sorry, but it's a joke. Let me know in the comment section what you think. As usual, guys, thanks thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Always helps the channel. Check out anything else on my channel and have yourselves a really good day.